This is a leg day that you will not want to miss if you want to build strength and definition in your legs and glutes. We are working heavy today, so get your dumbbells and let's do this. Friends don't let friends skip leg day. You know this, so I just wanna say, thank you for showing up because we are in this together today. All right, we have got a leg strength day. We're gonna hit everything. Quads, hams, calves, glutes, thighs. All the goodies are gonna be shaken and getting stronger and getting defined and all the things we want right now. So with that said, we are gonna get into our warm up. Join me for our warm up. We're actually gonna use some light weights for our warm up to get ready for today's training. As we go through this warm up, I'm gonna explain how you, uh, or how, what you can expect from this workout, the structure of this workout, and optional today, if you've got it, your mini resistance band or your booty band. We'll use this mainly in round two. If you don't have it, no worries though, you can just do those exercises without it. But with that, let's go ahead and get into our first exercise, which is going to be a squat to alternating kick. So just taking it down nice and slow because we wanna to start to get everything warm, getting joints warm, muscles warm. Also, mind ready for today's session. We've got a really simple structure for today's workout. Three total rounds. In each round, there will be five exercises. We will repeat those exercises three times through. So for that first exercise, three times through, then move to the second, third, so on. 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and then in between rounds, 45 seconds. Last one here. Now we're gonna go into a good morning. So hands on our hips, legs out, drive the hips back, and then squeeze up. We're gonna get our weights. We'll do one more exercise and then we'll grab our weights to get warm. But speaking of weights for today's training session, this is all about heavy weight. Now in that second round, I don't think, we'll use, we'll use optional, you can use weights for our inner thigh lifts, lifts when we get to the second round. But other than that, when we are lifting, challenge yourself with heavy weights today. Last one, good. Arm pulls to bum kicks, so just taking those arms back, heels up. We're gonna get those light weights next, just for a weighted squat and a weighted sumo RDL. Let's do three, two, and a one. So grab your light weights for that. I'm just gonna use my 10 pounds, so fairly light for lower body right now. Whew. Weighted squat. We go in three, two, and one. So take it down and squeeze. Now weight is gonna be relative to you today and what you choose for heavy. I'll kind of give you my weights as we go, but again, I'm just giving you that as a guide. Pick weight that's gonna challenge you throughout that 35 seconds. And even by the end of that 35 seconds should feel like you are hitting failure. Last one. Sumo RDL, legs out, toes out, weights close, and here we go. Drive those hips to the wall behind you and squeeze up. So just starting out with some weighted warm-up exercises. Well, it gets the heart rate up a little bit, you can feel that, but also helps us to just start to take that time to go slow, working with our weights, focusing on form. Let's do two more and then we'll get into our first exercise. Last one. All right, things are gonna move quick right now. We are gonna start with a back squat. So one heavy dumbbell for this one. That weight is gonna go right up over your shoulders. So we'll hold on to it. Lift it up and over. Squat here in three, two, and one. Good, so that weight is just resting here on your shoulders. You can think of this if you've ever done a squat with a barbell, this kind of gives that same feel where we feel that weight across our shoulders like that. Make sure chest is staying up, weight is in your heels. Almost there. Last three, two, and one. I'm just gonna hold the weight here. A little bit easier to just keep the weight here. Now you can always just do a regular squat if you find that you don't prefer this back squat position. That's totally fine. So those weights will just be up on your shoulders. Getting ready to go again. 
Here's three, two, and one. Head up, chest up. Take your time all the way down and then all the way up. Over halfway. For each set today, take your time. When we really start to get heavy, we're gonna slow down on our set. So we were reps. Last three, two, and one. So remember, when we're training heavy or even moderately heavy, it is all about the quality of those reps over quantity. So try not to rush through it. Take your time. Five seconds. Last set of back squat. Three, two, and one. Here we go. more reps. Here we are. Three, two, and one. Now just use caution as you're getting this weight off of your back. Now we're doing an alternating forward stepping lunge. Modification is going to be on screen. We're, we're doing an alternating forward lunge. Modification is a suitcase squat to lateral lift. So going here in three, two, and one. Head up, chest up. So this should be nice and heavy. Really having to take our time as we step forward and up. If you're doing that suitcase squat with lateral lift, take your time on that squeeze. Feel that in the glutes as you lift those legs. Almost there. Three, two, one. Whew. Might find you need to set your weights down in between sets as they are heavy so you can let your hands have a little bit of a break. We're getting ready to go again. Five seconds out. Grab your weights. And here we go. Second set through. Nice job, keep that good posture. Almost there. Here we are, three, two, and one. One more set. Now when you're lifting with these heavy weights, make sure when you grab them or let them down, squat down with them. So don't just let them fall. Going here, five seconds out. We're grabbing our weights again. And let's lunge it out. This round, really gonna work. The quads. You will see with our lunges. Well, and the hams are coming too. Last set here, and then we're gonna have some unilateral work, meaning we're gonna work one side and then the other. Three, two, and one. Awesome, all right. I need to adjust my weights just a little bit. We're gonna do a stationary lunge into a kickstand RDL. There's just gonna be a little bit of foot motion in between to get the right positioning. Modification, if you lunges bother your knees, just that kickstand RDL. Shoulders rolled down and back. We're gonna do that lunge first, going in three, two, and one. Here we go, so stationary lunge, step it back, and then kickstand RDL. Then back into that lunge. Good. Good. 
So really, you can see not much movement here from the lunge to the kickstand. Foot just comes in a few inches and then back out. Last three, two, and one. One more set like that. Breathing, oh wow. This one's tough. You feel it in the hands, you feel it in the glutes. All right, so lunge first, get into position. Here we go. So we lunge it down. Bring that foot in just a bit. RDL, and up. Breathing, taking our time here. Keeping that weight in the heel. Most of your weight is in this forward leg here. Last three, two, and one. Whew. I got the heater on over here and I gotta turn it off because leg day is getting spicy in here. One more set. We are gonna work up a sweat by the end of this one. That is for sure. Last time on this side, lunge it out first. Here we go. How excited are you though that our work timer is only 35 seconds? It makes a, different with a difference with strength though. So with strength training, when we go heavy, we are talking maybe four, five, six, seven, eight reps. I know that's kind of a wide range, but my point is it's not a lot of reps compared to maybe when we're working hypertrophy or endurance. Last three, two, and one. That's because we're working our muscles in a different way. So this is really quite different. That's why I said, don't worry about how many reps you're doing. Just focus on the best ones you can do. Switching sides. So again, modification, just that kickstand RDL. If not, that lunge and kickstand. Here we go. Back is staying flat. All that weight in the forward foot. Here's three, two, oh, and one. Whew, breathe, one, no, two, more sets. One more exercise after this one though. <sighs> Breathing, okay. Let's get ready. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep it up. You got it. I know, leg day, it's a tough day. But it is so worth it. And if you've been taking part in leg day for any length of time, you will see that getting stronger here absolutely gets you stronger for life. Last three, two, one. Okay, one more set now. I'm gonna give you some exciting news. The last exercise is actually all for calf muscles. So that is a bonus, right? <laughs> At least it's not the quads or the hamstrings. All right, going again. Last set, here we go. Breathing through this entire set here. When we're working these bigger muscle groups in our lower body, you will see that, that heart rate does get up a little bit more, maybe compared to the, your upper body. And also you might find that you're out of breath a little bit quicker as well. That is again, just because these are bigger muscles and our body's really working hard to pump that blood to those muscles that we're working. Three, two, one. All right, calf raises, but toes out. So we're gonna take a slight turn here to our toes 
Dumbbells can be down by your side or up on your shoulders, whichever you feel comfortable with. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, so lift it up, squeeze, hold it, and then down. So you can work at your own tempo, you don't have to follow my pace, but the one thing I want you to keep in mind is hold it at the top. So really hold it, and then bring it down. Squeeze it up, feel those calf muscles. Really get those heels up off the ground. Holding it for three, two, and one. Oh, one more set, or two more sets. Jeez, I keep saying one more set. Oh, two more sets, and then we're moving on to round two. All right, five out, so toes out, back to calf raises. Here we go, let's lift it up. Squeeze, and down. Good, relax your shoulders, those weights just hanging here in your hands. You don't have to over grip the weights. That's one thing, if you do notice your hands are really starting to bother you, or even your wrists, it could be because you are over gripping the weights. What you wanna think about, especially in exercises like this, where the dumbbells are just hanging down, you're, you're still in control of the weights, but you're just hooking your fingers, like little hooks, that are holding on to that bar, so you don't have to grip it and try to hold on there. Last three, two, and one. All right, now, final set of calf raises. Huh, that's so exciting to say. <laughs> and we're already done with round one after this, which also is so exciting. Getting ready in three, two, and one. Lift it up on those toes, squeeze, and down. Lift and squeeze. Good, and down. So after this, if you were, uh, Listening during the warm up, I said we get 45 seconds to rest in between rounds. So we're gonna get a whopping 45 seconds to hang out and uh, well, just get ready for what we got going on in round two. But it's gonna be awesome. Here we are, three, two, and one. So round two is where if you've got your booty band or mini resistance band, grab that and have it. However, for the first exercise, we won't use that. We're gonna do an inner thigh lift. I'm gonna add a 10 pound weight for this one. So that top leg is gonna come right across. I'm gonna put that weight right there above my knee. We're gonna keep that foot flexed. We're gonna lift and lower. So we're gonna do that three times on this side, switch it over three times on the other, and then we'll go ahead and put our band on. We've still got 10 seconds though, so this feels amazing. And remember, so, this is working some smaller muscle groups. So 10 pounds could feel very heavy and that's what we want for this one. Going in three, two, and one. So lift it up, squeeze. Same thing with this inner thigh lift like we talked about during the calf raises. Hold it at the top for a second. That's where those muscles start to work. So get that contraction, feel that contraction, and then down. And exhale as you lift and hold. So really hold it, squeeze it. Good. And with this weight, you should really start to feel that muscle working already. Last three, two, and one. Whew. All right, quick 20 seconds, two more sets. All right, getting ready, eight seconds out. All right, here's three, two, and one. Inner thigh lift, get that foot flex, lift and hold, and down. Squeeze. Ooh. Really working deep into these inner thighs now with this weight, with three sets like this. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Lift and squeeze. All right, count it down with me. Three, two, one. Okay, rest it out. Last set, one more time. Breathing. All right, weight back on. 
We go in five. Here's three, two, and one. Let's lift, squeeze, and down. Squeeze. Good, exhale with that lift. Really work on getting that leg up. I know at this point you are feeling it. Might only be coming a couple inches off the ground. That's okay as long as you feel that contraction. You feel that inner thigh muscle working. Here's our countdown and we switch. Three, two, one. Switching it over to the other side. So, bottom leg comes out, top leg comes across. Weight goes on if you're using that. Foot is flexed. All right, five seconds out. Lifting in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift, squeeze, and lower. Right back up. So try not to hold it too long at the bottom. We lift it right back up. Good, we're breathing out right here as we lift, exhale. We exhale on that working portion, so right here. Good, and down. Oh, here it is, three, two, and one. Ah. Really start to feel that shake by those last few reps in this first set. We've got two more from here. 10 seconds out. All right. Here we go. Three, two, get that foot flex, and let's lift. Lift it up, squeeze it, and down. Whew. Wow. Over halfway. Okay, here it is. Last three, two, and one. One more set. Whew. Can let that leg have a little bit of a break. All right, 10 seconds. Putting that weight back on if you're using it. Then we get to stand after this, so that'll be good. All right, foot is flexed to go in three, two, last 35 here, here we go. Lift it up, squeeze, and lower. Make sure that leg is staying nice and long. Foot is flexed. So after this set, we're gonna quickly put the band on if you're using it and you're just gonna put it right above your knee. You know that 20 second go seconds goes by quick. Here we go, three, two, and one. All right, so. No weight for this next one unless you want to use some added weight, but I believe you will see that with the band, you're not going to need it. So weight right or the band right here, we're going to do a low banded walk, walking from side to side. Keep it in that low squat, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Walk it out for two on each side. Keep it low. So really try to take nice and wide steps here. Now hitting those outer thighs. So you're gonna feel this in the glutes as well because we're keeping it nice and low and then that outer glute working. Here's three, two, and one. Breathing, okay. So you're gonna see with round two, not that super heavy weight, but like I mentioned, we're working some smaller muscle groups in here. And just with this band or with that 10 pound weight, and just keeping it low that whole time, that's all we're gonna need. 35 seconds, back to our low walk, here we go. So two steps each way. Again, try to take nice big steps to really work those muscles. Keep it low, if you can sink it a little bit lower, do that. While keeping good form, that means back is flat. 
So we're not hunching. Back is flat. Nacho's trying to make it an obstacle course. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, and one. Oh. Wow. All right. One more set. And we go. 10 seconds. All right, let's bring it down. Bring it down nice and low. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So walk it out nice and wide for two. Below. You're halfway. Keep that chest up. We're going to keep the band on for these final two exercises of round two. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Wow. The fire has been built and we are smoking now. All right, so we are gonna go into a, another low move, a low diagonal tap back. So we're gonna take it down nice and low. And you're gonna tap diagonal out. Same side for three sets. Here we go, so take it back. With this one, nice and slow. I don't want you to think about getting a ton of reps in. I want you to hold it. Let those muscles really start to work and then bring it back. All this weight here is on this working leg, this forward leg. We're almost there. Last three, two, and one. Oh, you can shake it out. Two more sets like that. All right, keep that weight, or make sure that band is staying above the knees. You don't want it rubbing on your knees. All right, let's take it low. Diagonal step back. Here we go. Out nice and long. Good. Another thing to think about. Back is staying long again. Oh my word, burning it out right here. Keep it low, this is three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. All right, one more set. One more set on this side, Nacho, we've made it. <laughs> He's like, what is this thing? No. Okay, we gotta go, we only have 10 seconds, five seconds. All right, low diagonal step back. No, Nacho. All right, here we go. And step it back. Head up, chest up. Keep it low because this is the last set. So really work to burn it out right here. Remember, nice and long as you step it back. So we're still working this outer glute here as we step this leg back. We got a lot of work here in this forward leg with the weight on it, with this low hold. Last three, two, and one. Keep your band on, final set, other side. This is gonna close out round two. Round three, we're gonna go back to those heavy, heavy weights. So enjoy this last set with just this sweet, innocent little band on. All right, so take it low, here we go. That's what, this band, it just always looks so cute and innocent, and then you put it on and you were like, you are something else. <sighs> Good, really take that leg out nice and slow. Remember, not trying to get a ton of reps in here, just trying to get our best. Oh. Here we are, three, two, and one. All right, two more sets. 
Well, also, uh, we're going to be done with the band after this, too. So we get to do our favorite thing and say, get this band out of my face, and we kick it away because it's so fun. <laughs> All right, bring it down. Three, here's two, and one. You know, if you've, if you've been working out with me for any length of time, we have little quirks in our workout that we do. And <laughs> to me, that's just one of them that I love to do, just kicking the band off when we're done with it. It's like, this is complete. We have done it. Keep it low, hold that leg out. Squeeze the glutes. Here we are, hold it for three, two, and one. Oh, nice job. Final set here for this one. All right, last set. Let's bring it down. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. 35 on. Take it out. Keep that good form, good posture with this upper body. Sinking that bum down a little bit lower if you can. Less than 20. Oh, that countdown is a coming. Here it is. Three, two, and one. And celebrator, celebrator, I can't say it. Celebrate by kicking your band off. Yes, get that band out of my face. Now we've got some rest. All right, we have got a longer break now because we are moving on to round three. Our last and final round, we are gonna start with a staggered goblet squat. So with that staggered goblet squat, one dumbbell here in the center, and we're gonna just take that leg back just to the slight diagonal, really focusing all of our weight on one side. So grab a heavy dumbbell and let's get ready. Remember, you can always adjust your weight up or down if you need, but try to start heavy with this exercise. All right, so staggered goblet, here we go. With that goblet squat, make sure you're keeping your chest up. I know when the weight is in front, sometimes it makes your chest wanna fall forward. That's gonna round your back. That's not gonna be pretty. That's not gonna feel good. So keeping that head up, chest up. So a little bit more unilateral work here for us. Last three, two, and one. How was the weight you picked? You can up it. Let's go for it. We've got two more sets on this side. 10 seconds out, grabbing that weight. Elbows tucked in here with your goblet squat as always. Going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Now this staggered goblet just allows us to put a little bit more emphasis on one side. So whatever leg is forward, you're gonna feel the quads, glutes, and hands working a little bit more. That's why we gotta make it even and do it on the other side next. Almost there. Head up, chest up. Last three, two, and one. One thing with leg day too, when you're working with heavy weights, the upper body gets a little bit of work too. So, you know, that's a good thing. Five seconds, let's grab that weight. Back up, going in three, two, and a one. Here we go. Don't rush your reps. Get all the way down, press all the way up. Couple more reps. That countdown is coming. And here it is. Three, two, one. All right. We're gonna switch it up to the other side. So that opposite leg is gonna come forward. 
Other leg stepping back. Might take a couple reps until you really get comfy in that staggered position. Whew. All right, three seconds, two, and here we go. Elbows tucked in, head up, chest up. And remember, keep the weight on this forward working leg now. This leg feels pretty fresh to start out with set one. But we know <laughs> by set three, Ooh, we're almost there. Last three, two, one. Ooh. Two more. Oh, arms need a break. All right, let's grab that weight. Head up, chest up, and we begin. Down. And up, second set. I gotta say, with 45 seconds of work, this has gone by pretty quick for one of our longer workouts today. Because we are almost there. We have got three exercises to go. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. Woo. Let's rest it out, one more. One more, you got it. That's what I said, friends don't let friends skip leg day because it is a tough day. So the fact that we can do this together makes it so much better. Last set, staggered goblet. Here we go, down. And squeeze. Keeping that head up and chest up. Here we are. Three, two, and one, all right. We are going into a sumo deadlift. So I personally like to use one. You can always use two dumbbells on this one. We're gonna start with that weight at the bottom. Back flat, core engaged, hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, power up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So with a deadlift, we are hinging at the knees and at the hips, as opposed to a Romanian deadlift where we just have a slight bend in the knees and we hinge all through the hips. Both exercises though, keep that good posture. Back is flat. Think about pushing that floor away. Here's three, two, and one. Two more. We got this. All right, get ready, starting at the bottom again. Five out, drop that bum down to start out. And here we go. Almost there. Oh, here comes that countdown. Three, two, and one. One more set. One more set like that. Two exercises to go. Breathing, 10 out. Oh, this is getting tough. Legs are feeling like jello more and more each rep. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Remember, push that floor away as you come up.
So here's three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Now, RDL, Romanian deadlift. One or two dumbbells. Let's grab those. We can go pretty heavy on this one. Shoulders roll down and back. Keep that weight close. And let's do it. Now this one, remember, just a slight bend in the knees. Drive those hips back, back flat, core engaged, and pull up. Really good for that lower body posterior chain. Last one. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Five sets left. That is it. Two more for our RDL. Then one exercise left. Whew, less than 10. Let's get ready. Grab those weights. Come on, we got this. I know this is the time where it's like the energy is running out, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna finish strong. Here we go. 35 on, down and squeeze. When we are lifting heavy like this, it is so important to make sure you're getting your protein in after your training to refuel your muscles so you can build that muscle back up. So just make sure, at, really after any of our workouts, super important to refuel your body, but especially with the strength training, maybe get a little extra protein in if you can. Three, two, one. <sighs> And if you can get it in within about 30-ish minutes, up to one hour after your workout, that is going to help the most. All right, final set, final set for, for this, for Romanian deadlift. We've got one exercise left. Three, two, and one. It's 35 on. It's a mystery that never took a chance before. I'm looking at you. And the reason I'm emphasizing protein is because protein is the building block, building blocks, I should say, of our muscles. So that's why after we've broken these muscles down to get them stronger, we need to give our body something to use. Last three, two, and one. All right, we are finishing out one exercise, three sets, the nice, and simple goblet squat. And I feel like this is not usual. My space is clean at the end of a workout. 35 on, just our goblet squat. Here we go. Exhale as you press up. Squeeze those glutes. Now when we come up, we don't want to completely lock out the knees, so make sure you're keeping those knees soft as you come up, but you can still squeeze the glutes right here. Last one, three, two, one. Two more sets. You are doing so awesome. I just want to just pump you up here for these last two sets. We've got this. One minute and 10 seconds of work. That's it. Finish strong. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Down, squeeze. Remember with this goblet position, make sure that chest is staying up. Goblet's gonna work the quads just a little bit more from this weight placement. So if you feel the top of the leg, Really starting to scream at you. There we go. Last three, two, and one. And I gotta set my weight down for a minute. I just wanna do a dance because this is it. This is a lot, I am so excited. This was such a tough, you know there are days when you're like, I'm ready to work out, I'm ready to do it. And then there are days where you're like, uh, no. Gonna be honest, this was one of those days for this workout today. I was like, oh, 
No, but here we are and I feel so much better. 35 on, here we go. You know a good workout will do that to you. It will totally change your mind. And I'm telling you what, half the time for those workouts that I'm like, those are the ones that I always come out of feeling so much better. So if that was you today, I just want you to remember this feeling. I know we're tired, I know we're shaky, but we just accomplished something huge. And that is amazing in and of itself. And the fact that you press play, last three, two, one, shows that you are committed to getting strong here and out there. And with that said, as we're kind of closing out week six of Bike and Bell Strive, I've been reminding you of this all week, but I just want to remind you one more time. Take the time, if you have not yet, to just recheck in on your goals, refocus yourself. What did you have set at the beginning of this program that you wanted to accomplish by the end? Because we're at the halfway point. Now, I know not every day is going to be perfect. Some days you might have missed. That's fine. Give yourself that space as you go. This is a process that we have to take. But every time you press play, you're going to feel so much better and you're going to get so much stronger. So thank you for being here. I have got a stretch out that will help so much after this workout because when you can add a stretch after your workout, it's going to help increase your flexibility. It's also going to help reduce muscle snor snorness, <laughs> soreness, <laughs> and just reduce your risk of injury. And that is our new hip mobility, lower body stretch. Check that one out again. It's going to feel so good after this. Also, if you have not signed up for Bike and Bells and you're like, what's that? Get more info in the description. You don't want to miss it. And you can sign up whenever. There's never a bad time to join that program. So I love you. Thanks for kicking butt with me. Go get your stretch. You deserve it so much. I love you. And I will see you over there.